Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Age 2. So I loaded in a bit earlier and did some party inventory management and stuff like that. Isabella is well equipped now with some cool looking rapiers. She's gonna, you know, rapier people with those. Uh, so I think we can go to melee two ranged at this point. Uh, which means I can have her, because we have a, another rogue, and then we can have two of these mages to do the damage. Uh, one could be healer and one could be damage dealer. So let's take Faith, Beth, and Anders. We have a couple of things to. Actually, we have a couple of things to do, so... I want to do the companion quests first, then any lingering side missions that are remaining, and then we'll move on to the main plots. So I know we have to go to the high town to meet Fenris. This place. Just quickly look at it. Yeah, talk to Angers and Isabella's contact. Hey, Diggs. All good? How are you? Hello. Is Anders there? Can I speak to Anders? You can stop yelling. It's always me. <laughs> oh, good. I didn't want to talk to that other guy. You know, the stick in the mud. He can still hear you. Justice and I are one. Anyway, you wanted to talk to me? Not really. I just wanted to make sure it was you. Yeah, that's interesting. Get rid of all of that. And, uh... We don't need it. And look at those cool looking rapiers Isabella has. One of them does poison and another one bleeds. Damn. Too long for her, but then... Uh, we will also eventually stumble upon a dress, like how we found a dress for Beth, which is typical, uh, akin to what she was wearing previously. It's an upgrade, but it's still one that uh, keeps her uh, vanilla form intact. So, yeah, well, I hope we can get back Isabella in her, you know, attractive looking attires later on. I want to go to the noble estate and see where Fenris is. Wait. Can it tell me it's here? Yeah, so that way. I hope my breathing noises are not bothering you again because I don't know. It wasn't there in episode 5, and then it was heavily there in episode 6. I checked yesterday's stream as well, and then. And the noises weren't there. I don't know what's happening. As I said, the mic is probably jinxed. Sometimes it pick, picks up even like ant scrolling on my floor. Okay. Not gonna read a couple of those notes because, well, we are going to do another detailed playthrough with the actual right story and decision, so we'll bother with that later on. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed.
Nothing like a bit of fear with your wine. That's what Daenerys used to say. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. <laughs> That's a mist. Is getting back at your master all that matters to you? Hmm. There are days when it feels that way. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? Ah, uh, Lothering is gone. I, I mean, to start with, Lothering wasn't even such a great place to be, right? I mean, we've been there in Origins. I don't think that would be... Uh, you know, but then again, I, I don't want to burn Fenris out here, but home is where family is. I've started a life here. And that's it. You leave it behind so easily. It wasn't easy, but... I lost my brother to the Blight. And now he no longer matters to you? I apologize. Your life is your own. It simply sounds very familiar. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. Technically, yep. Yeah, I mean, if it's burning your heart, then you wouldn't be finding peace until you actually accomplish it. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. Yes, yes. Hawk is a man of substance. Sticky white substance as well. Not for you, though. What if he does give up? What then? and I go to him. I will not live with a wolf on my back. This this is basically what we did with uh, Liliana as well, right? When Marjolaine found her and we we faced her, confronted her in Tenerim. That was the decision we had to take. One of us had to die, like either Liliana or Marjolaine to end the matter because Either way, both of them living would always live in the fear of each other, and that just wasn't gonna bode well. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. Sounds like a tough situation. I'm not made of glass. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. It turned out well enough. It did at that. I will not keep you longer. Another time, perhaps. Wait, were you drinking ale from that mug? I mean... Plus five only? Really? Oh... Uh... I guess I didn't pick up the, all the right choices. Next order of business is... Anders and then Isabella. Let's go to Isabella first. Because there's a mission over there.
Oh, she's right with us, right? Yeah. Hello, Bella. Maker. I think he's ignoring me now. Hey! Is my coin not good enough for you? Oh, Hawk. Thanks for helping me with that little problem I had. You going to buy me a drink to celebrate our victory? I don't know if that's wise. Oh, please. Fixating on what's wise makes you forget what's fun. Oh, before I forget, are you still looking for work? Because I have a friend who needs some help. A friend of yours is a friend of mine. What can I do? He didn't say, and I didn't ask, but I'm sure you're up to it. His name's Martin. He has a room right here in The Hanged Man. Tell him I sent you. Now, you going to leave me to my drinking or what? That's it. Really? Okay, I am a bit disappointed. Like the world's getting simpler? Let's go find Martin. So, you were in the circle and ran away? I don't know if I'd be brave enough to do that. You've been an apostate your whole life. Exactly. It was never anything I had to work for. Other people always took the risks to keep me free. Oh, bad. Don't worry too much about it. Hey, who are you? My, you're jumpy. Look at you, cowering in a corner. What happened to the fearless, dashing raider I used to know? I'm not a raider anymore, Isabella. I'm just an honest merchant now. Please, Martin. You wouldn't know honest if I tied you up and spanked you with it. <laughs> you tie him up, I'll go find some honesty. Very funny, Isabella. You said you could find me help. This is the best you could do, eh? Your friend's such a charmer, Bella. Isn't he? You want the help or not? Yes, I want help. I need someone to help me find out where the raiders have hidden my stolen cargo. This job's as easy as a peg-legged tavern wench. And there's good coin in it to boot. What did the raiders do to you? They closed in on my ship and forced her into the cliffs. My crew and I barely made it out alive. They must have salvaged the cargo when it washed ashore. Are the raiders a big problem around here? They've got some big plan for Kirkwall, or so I've heard. If they're not a problem now, they will be soon. Mm -hmm. It's your cargo. You look for it. Those raiders are still looking for me. I'm not going to draw their attention. You used to be a raider. What happened? Yes, I was a raider. Back then it was just smuggling and petty thievery. It's changed since that madman Ianto took power around here. Extortion, murder, kidnapping, he does it all. It's just not to my taste. I tried to get out, but he didn't like that. This scar on my neck, he gave it to me. Slit my throat and threw me overboard. I tried to start a new life away from this bullshit. And he has his men chase me down and steal my cargo. <laughs> and you're perfectly innocent of wrongdoing, aren't you? Why would the raiders want your cargo? Is it valuable? How should I know why they want it? It's just spices and herbs. Nothing special. Wait, did that not, like, get washed in the... I mean, spices and herbs sounds like something that would get destroyed if it drops in ocean water. I'll take care of it. You'll need to look around the docks. The crates bear the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. So you'll know it when you see it. I'll find your cargo, Martin. You have my word. I've had it with the raiders, and this cargo is the key to me getting on the straight and narrow. You're doing me a huge favor here, friend. Thank you, and be careful. 
Don't you want to join us or something like that? Okay, that was two quests in one place. Cool. Next order of business is Anders. Should I finish this one first? Insider tape over here. Anders and uh, Fenris don't like each other, so don't keep them together. Wait. By the way, where was Anders? Was on the other side, right? Does he have a marker on him? Nope. These patients need me more than anyone in High Town. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. It happens a lot. You can tell me anything. Anything? Be careful what you offer. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend... It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. We can only make them with a true heart. Well, under that scruffy exterior... I think you've got a bit of a soft heart yourself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? Well, really? Doesn't mean I want you to stop. I'll keep that in mind. Growing up in the circle... Everything is about order, and rules, and the Templars. The apprentices. We found ways to make that bearable. Carl and I, he was the first. We could forget that, out in the world, we were nothing but Templar slaves. We hadn't been together for a long time. But still, it hurt. <laughs> Let's talk about me. <laughs> no one should have to go through that. It's the bloody Templars. They don't see us as people. They don't care that Carl was someone's son. Someone's lover. If you're born with magic, they hear about it. They search your little rat's bit village and find you. They tell your parents they'll be thrown in prison if they ever ask about you. Stripped of their rights in the eyes of the Maker. And if you run away, they hunt you down. Again and again and again. You're speaking from personal experience. Andraste's words were that magic must not rule over man. It is not ruling to simply wish for the same rights as any man. For a thousand years we've bowed to them. But someday that will change. See, plus 15, easy peasy. And then Fenris only gives me plus 5. This is gonna be a hard guy to please, it seems. Okay, let's do the side quest first, I think. And then we'll come back over here. Isabella, you never talk about the mage's plight. 
What's there to say? There's plenty to say. And you say enough for the lot of us, don't you think? So you're telling me you have no opinion on the matter? None whatsoever. That can't be true. No, I'm afraid I'm really this shallow. Fancy moves over there. Dots. Where did you learn your magic? I mean, you know my feelings on the circle, but usually it's the only decent training a mage can get. My father taught me. He was in the circle once, trained there, but he got away. You don't know how lucky you were to have someone who loved you and could help you. I think you. the Canary is spying on us. Most mages would kill for that. You remind me of him. We'll be glad to be back on the waves. I'm looking for some cargo. You are in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. <laughs> I could use your assistance. I'm looking for crates sealed by the Orlesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Hey, if you're done wagging your tongue, can we get those sacks off the docks? Right, come in. I think the Canary is spying on us. That doesn't even look like a beggar, to be honest. He's got better clothes. Oh no, they're torn on his knees. But then again, like if he's gonna kneel like that all the time, they they are gonna end up. Tough. I seek any information on suspected apostates. Two of them right in my party. You problem? <laughs> Shipping manifest. I'm looking for cargo bearing the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the Harbour Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for Elysian cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. Is this enough to help you remember? Ah, it's coming back to me. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse, by the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. Two gold, that's a lot of money to be honest. Because we only pick up like few silvers here and there. So compared to that, just throwing away two gold is a lot of money. Down there, up there. Make her turn his gaze on you, child. There's someone coming. Tell the This is private property. Who owns this warehouse? Master Woodrow, I suppose. It's rented storage space. What are you guarding? Imported goods. Let's see what's behind that door. <sighs> no visitors allowed. I must have taken a wrong turn. Be off with you then. But really, there's no other way. Should we come back in the evening or something like that? At the night, maybe. Wow, 
why isn't it this bread house? Uh, I don't know. Do we have to fight? I just blocked the bloody way. What are you saying? I just told them not to hold their current position. There's always pretenders out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too. Aha! Who's that? Empty stain bottle, huh? That sells. <laughs> Interesting. Trap ahead. Oh, it's it's the same place. Yep. You're such a slave driver. One shot. So the grey icons are... Hello Mr. Serious. It's... well, it's kind of easy, I guess. I mean, Isabella is a badass. They, they didn't even bother to name these things, you know, anything specific, it's just a ring. And this area is the same area which we came in to look for that help apostate I'm not mistaken exactly the same place 
Tread lightly around here. That's why you weren't around. Yep, why not? I mean, I wouldn't say I got a lot of views on my DA Origins <laughs> playthrough, but yeah, it's that game is such so close to my heart. But I'm I'm just doing this because I wanna should go make it to Dragon Age Inquisition. I wanna have the whole series uploaded from my side as my playthrough. You know, with, with the decisions that I take and choices and all that stuff, the whole nine yards. I've played Origins so many times. This is where we started from. This is also pretty much modded because uh, the vanilla version was absolutely, uh, I don't know how to put it, there was no way I could, I could play it for more than five minutes. Even the animations, I mean, if you have noticed, they are so bad. The Watch your step. The main character's animations are so fast and it's done. The, the enemies, their attack animations are so slow, like by the time your enemy is attacking you once, you, you already have landed like two or three hits. I wouldn't breathe that in if I were you. Looks like Martin's trading in death. Not such a good guy after all, hey? But this this whole thing, there, there is a 4K version of this mod as well. Look at that. says one attack right I and what you need right here this absolutely isn't natural the rate at which they move make the movements just breaks immersion up in well this little section where I've been able to like at least stream every now and then Idiot has been good always around at night but there's but good coin in getting apart from that work is just not that great right now it's pretty pretty daunting quite frustrating but it's okay i mean it still brings food to the table so i shouldn't be complaining cool no other it's it's not gonna get better anytime till the project launches, like the product launches. That's gonna be somewhere around November. After that, maybe I'll get some breathing space. Not entirely sure about that though. Tester, yes, QC. One of the overlooked and underrated departments. The right of tranquility is the whole problem. If they didn't have that to hold over us, we'd have so many more options. Right. If we want to fight back or just engage in intelligent debate, they make sure we can't do it. They're forcing our hands. There's no way to change things peacefully. 
There must be something. If it's tranquility or death, we have no choice but to make every confrontation a life or death struggle. I know, but there are good people in the circle, the Chantry. There has to be a way to reason with them. Not if they take away your ability to reason. Uh, yeah, that's true. A lot of, lot of jobs are thankless like that. And then there are organizations like Amazon, which make it even more humiliating with the kind of treatment that they give to their employees. It's just miserable. You're smuggling poison. I thought you were trying to change your ways. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place? I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. Do you ever feel like you're part of a story that someone is telling? Make a I wish. Does discount ever sound like miscount? I mean, I'm just wondering how that term got coined, right? It should have been less count or something like that. Maybe that would make sense because it literally means less money than you would otherwise pay. This just, this by itself sounds like incorrect. So by less money, they're just trying to say that it's incorrect, incorrect amount of money that you're offering. Why? What makes a hero a hero, eh? Nope. About okay. It did feel like that. For the moment over there. Eh, it's Marathi. It's like a dialect of Sanskrit. Very close to Hindi. the main quests remain so let's proceed with this one we should go carefully who knows what this many blood mages may have summoned to defend themselves oh like that I thought you were saying talking about traps being laid and I was like it's a bit I should lead them Well, there were traps. Take care of this guy. Help him out a bit. Is she the 
one who is generating the most threat. Patrick, yes. Well, there goes 50 XP. For disabling that trap. I think I'll keep her up front. See, we are a diverse and inclusive team over here. We've got brunettes, we've got white men, blondes, we've got some... Where are you from? Antivians, and we've got an equal number of ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely diverse and inclusive. It's gonna play a big part in the next part, Inquisition. Can't wait to get to that game. And she's beast. Why is Beth getting all the attention? I don't get it. Look at the he attacked us once and the number of kicks he got. I can beat you in my sleep. Move the body. That was a funny moment a few I think two or three episodes back. We found some somebody's remains uh, lying around here like like this and we returned them to the chantry and and the way the dialogue that our main character said was, uh, you drop this? And I was like, <laughs> one just simply doesn't drop somebody's remains, you know, like bones and ashes. It's like, oh, you, thanks. I probably forgot them in some corner in the downtown. <laughs> That's right. Good night, Sirius. Thanks for joining by. Dropping by. Joining me. It's good to see you after a long time. Panel first. We want to see the traps if there are any more. Trap ahead. Ah, hi. You're such a slave driver. Dips on trap. A corpse and a sack. Wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? I am not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them.
Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar. Any noble. Any well-meaning meddler. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit... With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar. Any noble. Any well-meaning meddler. Go ahead. Try to give me to your demons. Good, good. The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? <laughs> that white lipstick just... Just doesn't... I don't know, it's very weird. The demons are using you. Fight them! In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us! Absurd! We should be ruling them! We should rule you all! Kill the vessels only if you must! One behind. Let Beth take care of him because we don't want to spend time just chasing him down. And then Anders can start shooting this. That woman over there with this. Happen to your vessels. Is disgusting. Oh, we have a desire demon. Hello, lady. You like the prison. Now we can relax. Mother, the light. If you were to actually do some looting animation, you know, your character would be grouping each and every dead body in the process of collecting loot from them. How does that sound? Grammar of the Apprentice. You dead, bro? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, that's Karen. Is it... is it over? Karen. Yes, that's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. So, when do we find out if this one's got a demon inside? The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. What do you remember about how you got here? I... I was with a lady. And then things got fuzzy. Nightmares then. On fire for days. A demon laughing. The naked lady with her razor claws in my chest. I'd wake and hear screams. Maybe my own. I'm sorry. It's all a tangle in my head. <laughs> Didn't go very well with you, huh? The lady and all that stuff. Trying to have fun. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. 
What, what was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No, no, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I, I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I, I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder. Separate it doesn't like it. Why, Isa? Find an exit. Where else can we go? No. So, you've been with women in bed? I know. Shocking, isn't it? You see, sweetness, men are only good for one thing. Women are good for six. Six? Which six? Isabella. <laughs> hey, even I can't count only four. I don't get it. Wait, two, two, four, five, six. Yep, yep, yep. you were reading this morning Assarian spear I don't think he had a spear in the legends he does in this one read the description Andraste knelt before no man but her maker but she hadn't counted on the Archon Hesarian. can Hesarian penetrate the tight-knit defenses of the warrior prophetess will she be prepared to face the full blast of his power wait a minute Isabella this is a vulgar thing. You want to borrow it? No! <laughs> you sure? It has pictures. Not listening, I'm not listening. Oh my god. Blood mages have infiltrated your ranks. They've been implanting your recruits with demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. De demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. Tarane was crazy. Magic didn't make her that way. True, not every mage gives in to temptation, but none are ever free of it. At any time, any mage could become a monster. From the lowest apprentice to the most seasoned enchanters. Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Maybe we shouldn't be arguing with the nice Templar. Smile and nod. Smile and nod. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. There's fault on both sides. We must find a way to live in peace. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He deserves mercy. What happened wasn't his fault. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. 
I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it. Sounds like it gets my pay. Just contracts. I'll keep that now. Don't talk to me. The Templars will give me 30 lashes for speaking to a civilian. Really? If you say so. I'm looking for Oh, but these are just So the mod that it adds around 75 weapons and armor sets, right? It's said like those are distributed amongst uh, Merchants all over the place That that is also the I mean, that's the version that I installed, the one which is a bit immersive or is not cheating right from the start. Well, not entire cheating. So you, I will stumble upon better, better equipment um, as I progress through the game. And uh, how do I put it? I've been just looking for certain items that I could stumble upon. Man of the Apprentice. Apprentice. Low down. What were you before you were a pirate? I had a husband. He didn't beat me. That's about the best I can say about it. So you left him? He was murdered. By my lover. It was all very... Antiva. Oh. I don't think I'd like to live in Antiva.
Why do I have a feeling that it's the same weapons? Uh, irrespective of which merchant you interact with. This is yours, if I'm not mistaken. Don't wave that around. I mean, thank you for this perfectly normal item. Yep, you have to specifically mention that it's perfectly normal. So that was one of the main quests, and what have we got? Act of Mercy, huh? I hope we have enough time to finish it, because I do wanna take a break soon. I mean, I do have 30 minutes or so. Tactless. Useful. So it will be interesting to see what kind of uh, events take place from our other save because we actually led to some decisions, right, to some situations. So yes, Anders did survive over here, but uh, I don't know if he was if he was lauded as the champion of Vigil's Keep or not or something like that, Protector, Savior, whatever that thing was. Because in, in the other, in the second playthrough, which was the one that I want to lock in as my, but technically now at this point, I feel like I should be doing two playthroughs simultaneously for these two games, Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Inquisition, because this, this is one playthrough, which is basically me going blind, uh, making some random non-educated decisions, right? And then, uh... So seeing the output and then you go in with full preparedness like I go in with full preparedness and make preset decisions uh, to see the difference between what happens when I don't know and I take make a choice and what happens when I know when I make a choice uh, something of an interesting thing but the, the problem with there is the slight problem that I know the story of Inquisition, so it's not like I could make blind choices over there anymore. What's that? Dragon Nicks. And that's disappeared. That's disappeared. And this is the one. Care of that guy, or is he dead? Guess he's dead. Okay. 
He's also dead, even before I can get into position. Someone needs a good spanking! Stumbling upon so many dragonlings just doesn't uh, feel right to me in terms of immersion because dragons are supposed to be rare, almost near extinct, and it seems. And then there are, well, a lot of games or so a lot of lores do state that dragons are. Uh, they also are like difficult to. You know, co populate. What is the word? Hey, hey man, I keep forgetting those things, but you get the thing, right? Like, they just don't go upon reproducing like rabbits. So, stumbling upon these many dragon links just doesn't make sense. They should be rare things to behold. Copulate, that was the word I was looking for. They don't copulate so easily. I am quite sure that we have been to this layout as well, although I can't pinpoint what was the exact occasion or the mission for this. Master Hawk, Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. Can't you be kind? <laughs> Can I get the details before I agree? There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caras is a Knight Lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. I would not like to see this become a massacre. Thank you. Your compassion does you credit. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Okay, let's see if we can do that. see this game and then you go and see Inquisition and then it's absolutely not believable that both the games were developed by the same 
developers. I would be very interested in knowing what happened, what the hell happened with this game. If you, if you know the... Events of... What do you put it? Why does she have to go in melee so much? Just start attacking me. Uh, the events of cyberpunk, right? They were interesting to study as to why the whole thing. <laughs> oh, he disappeared already. <laughs> No, he didn't. Teleported. I'll deal with it. Move the body. They've raised the bloody dead. They must be truly desperate. Please tell me we're not going to force the. Four fools back into the circle. I wasn't here to kill them, but they still attack. What can we do? They wish for death. Death or freedom. Death they will get. Oh, is it the other way around, right? Freedom or death. Hey, wait for me. Not even worth my time. Okay. Maker's blessing. I thought I was going to die down here in this... this tomb. Are you with the Templars? Please. I need to go back to the circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? He slit his wrist and the magic... it rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. Decimus is the leader of these mages. He's crazy. He said with our phylacteries gone, no one could find us. We would be free. I think maybe he set the fire. There must be a demon working through him. No normal man would profane the dead like this. Hmm. The Templar Thrask is waiting outside. Surrender to him, and you won't be hurt. I surrender. Take me to the Templars. I don't want anything to do with this... blood magic. 
The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. This reminds me that this is the cave where we brought the Viscount's kid back. Oh, no, 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 the And there's, there's boy, can you... Not somebody's kid, right? We did say that he was somebody special and then we got him back. This is where the dialogue happened. It's the same place. Quick save, I'm hoping to level up at the end of this. Oh, and then that reminds me that we were over here was fighting some Kunaris as well before that. So this is the place where we have been for the third time now. I'm gonna lose count soon. Oh look at that. Ominous looking person. Power out of bounds, etc etc. They're here! The Templars have come to take us back to the Circle! Decimus, no! Stay your hand! These are no Templars! What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the dead themselves will meet the call! Do you two mind taking care of the mage? I'll look after everyone else. And we can start with the nearest corpse. should have listened to me, love. You, you are one of us. But you wear no mark of the circle. How is it you side against your own? Maybe your lover should have tried hello. We're friendlier than you think. Decimus gave us the courage to face the Templars. Without him, we would be prisoners still. The minute he resorted to blood magic, he signed his execution warrant. I warned him. I told him once he marked himself as a blood mage, that was all anyone would see. Please, we only want our freedom. Without your help, the Templars will execute us all for Decimus's crimes. If not in the Circle, how do you intend to live? I hear there are places outside the free marches where the Templars are not so vigilant. What do you ask of me? There is a Templar who followed us. You must have met him when you entered. Kill him, and we can get clear of Kirkwall before the Templars send more men. Better the death of one Templar than so many innocents. 
Will you buy us time to flee Kirkwall? I will do what I can to help, but not at the cost of Thrask's life. If you will not kill him, then you must convince him you killed us. That is our only hope. But I spent two weeks traveling with these Templars. They strike first and think after. They are far easier to kill than to fool. You know, he is the one who has been trying to save your ass, so I don't see why I should kill him for being a good person. Uh, not maybe compassionate is the right word. Passion should not be punished. Constitution. I do feel like I should put in three more points in Constitution so that I can survive. Willpower is not a problem right now. And then... Where should I be investing? You know, it says mage has made more made brittle, but it's not necessarily to be mage. Even we are doing ice damage right now. That's weapon and shield, right? That's not where I want to invest. Taunt and bravery. Eleven, huh? Yeah. 
that he's just destroying everything. Isabella, do you think he'll remember his mother after he's dead and resurrected? Are you trying to tell me this boy is all that's left of the apostates? I ran away when they began to use blood magic, sir. They are not in the cavern, Sakaras. I have thoroughly explored- Who is this? Sir Thrask asked me to bring the mages in peacefully. Oh, did he? I've had my eye on you, Thrask. This isn't the first time you've granted quarter to robes. Kill the traitor and his friends. We'll find these demon worshippers ourselves. Oh, that didn't turn out that well. Oh, well. just melted Peacefully, not... There can be no peace between the mages and Templars of Kirkwall, sir. It has gone too far. I had hoped to end this peacefully. Why are you still here, sir? Why did you not fight alongside your fellows? I... I would not join my name to the likes of Koras. But I cannot support blood magic either. I suppose my side has been picked. I will tell the other Templars you killed Karas and I came upon the bodies. I will give a false trail to follow. Thank you. And thank you. Please accept this as the only reward I can offer. I dare not carry a staff with the mark of Starkhaven on it now. This has been more than I expected. We must away. As must we. Come, Alan. I'm sorry you were the only one I could save. No approval ratings from anyone for saving the mages. Bad. 
where I've been. Magic, we can go two points in magic for sure. I don't want to go in our can shield. Man, this <laughs> tax speed plus fifty. Oh, this is going to break the game. Yes. Oh, it's not... Oh, I thought it was sustained. Damn it. Because it was sustained in um, Origins. And that was like absolutely bonkers. 40%, flat 40% increase. Attack speed and whatnot. Movement speed as well. That's what, that's what we used with our... This is specialization. It's something related to Night Enchanter, but Arcane Warrior, yes. Uh, Arcane Warrior, that's that's that. Letters than I do. There's another one on the desk. More side quests. Friends in low places. I understand you are in dire need of some coin. Uh, if that's true, I believe I have a proposition that you simply will not be able to refuse. Look for me at night near the foundries in Low Town. Dogal. And letter for Beth. Dear Beth, I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened to Tamar, Tamra. I think her family fled to Redcliffe, but I haven't been able to locate them. I don't have much hope left, but miracles can happen. I'll keep trying. I know Tamra was a close friend. I'll write to you as soon as I hear something. I hope your family is doing well in Kirkwall. Please send my love to your mother. I'll keep praying for you all. Sister Sula. Do you have to tell her about that? I hope Mother convinces the Viscount to give us the estate. It's the same dialogue. I will talk to the Viscount about our estate. So, what? Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's the idiot again. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. What was she like, as a girl? We're only a year apart. But that was time enough for Leandra to get our parents wrapped firmly around her little finger. 
They showed her off at every opportunity. The beauty, the scholar, the light of their lives. As far as they were concerned, they should have stopped there. I've seen the nobles in this town. Your parents must have had a fortune. Where did it all go? Well, it's not like I stood at the side of the wharf and hurled it over. I tried to invest it. I got some good tips on trade in Kunari cheeses. And, you know, a man's got needs. I'm not denying I spent more on myself than I should have, but I figured it'd all work out. I'm sure you did your best. Don't try to butter me up, lad. I changed their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera, and the last word father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love, but at least I got the money. And here I was, just about to like you. <laughs> I like that. Back just showing up and putting in on a comment. Okay, alright. Anyways, I think it's time to take a break. Um, and I am level 11, so I think I can go and pick up on a few upgrades for myself. It's 15. I thought I could. Hmm. Like this. 21 attack, 11 defense. I think that's good. And I mean, we'll have to look through this as well because I think anyone who is going into the deep roads will need an upgrade or something like that. But that will be it for now. Uh, I will come back uh, to a little bit of party inventory management, party management or whatever it is, and then we will head down into the deep roads. Do you know, come to think of it for the first time, I think not being able to manage your party's equipment could also be a good idea. I mean, it does reduce a lot of work, but then again, that's also a part of RPG that a lot of people like to invest into uh, in terms of min maxing right which is impossible if you do this but then at normal difficulty i don't think min maxing is required so this is just a chore maybe i'll do this for a while until we stumble upon those items like for example the armor for beth it's pretty much uh, you know good for her right now i don't know if we'll get some similar upgrades in the future for doing certain things for her I hope we do because that was what was promised in the or what was mentioned in the I, I, won't, I won't call it a promise what was mentioned in the mod description so that should be the case but thank you for joining me and uh, we'll just catch up in the evening again.